Namaste. I'm here in Athens on a rooftop, and behind me is the Acropolis. Athens is a beautiful city, lots of art and architecture. Today we're going to do yoga on the go. We're going to do a few poses to keep you kind of the joint lubricate and the body flexible. So when you travel many hours, you know, your body becomes stiff and tight. So those are the few poses I do. Downward facing dog, pigeon, fire log, and a plow. And the last thing I do is I lie on lacrosse ball that I got on the field while my kids were playing. There's lots of them everywhere. Super easy to find them. And if this is too hard, you can get balls that are softer. You can get it in actually even in a toy store. So downward facing dog, let's start. It really takes like 10 minutes the whole practice. And of course you can do it even an hour, but depend how much time you have. So shoulder blade, chest open, claw your fingertips, knees behind, <clears throat> right underneath actually your um, hips. Tuck your toes, shoulder back, chest open, and then take your knees back and come into downward facing dog. And hover your dog from one leg to the other. Bend your knees, sit bone back. And if you're back open enough, you can straighten your knees. Bring it into pigeon, right leg forward. Ultimate pigeon is the foot will be 90 degrees, so you bring it to that angle. If you have any knee issues, you want to bend the knee deeper and bring your foot in more. Okay, so that will be the pigeon. Maybe you want to come up, stretch it, shoulder back, chest open, sweet side. And you want to sit evenly on your right sit bone and left sit bone. So you might, more want, you might want to go a little bit higher to find your center. And then lift your knee up and walk it back to go a little bit deeper in a pose. And then you want to get it a little bit even deeper. You bring your foot forward. 90. Go on your fingertips, get some height. Squeeze your legs together. Shoulder back, chest open. We'll do one more time, downward facing dog, and we take it to fire log. Downward facing dog, pigeon again. And then sit on your right buttocks and bring your left leg across. Right foot above, left foot above right knee and right heel under left knee. So there's a nice triangle inside. Go on your fingertips and come up, move your sit bone back so you can get deeper in the pose. If that's comfortable, stay there. If your knees up, that's okay, but flex your feet. And then if that's easy, you're gonna take it forward but keeping the chest open, back open. Nice. And from here, we're gonna do the same thing, bringing the left leg back, so going back into pigeon. Downward facing dog. Second side, left leg pigeon. Sitting on the left buttocks this time, bringing your right leg across double pigeon or fire log. Again, foot, knee, knee, foot. Nice triangle, moving your sit bone back, thighs back, chest is open. So you're sitting right on the perineum. This is really nice, it's opening the groin, hamstring, piriforma, all the things that get super tight the muscles that get tight when we fly and when we travel. And then you can take it forward. Chest open, 
So your fold is not coming from the middle of the back. The fold is coming right from your hinges, from your hip crest. Nice. And you can stay as long as you feel comfortable, but I would keep it for at least a minute. Okay. So from here, <clears throat> we're going to go into plow. A little bit more challenging and it can be challenging if you have issues with your uh, neck. So make sure you are not doing it if you have any problem with your neck. But otherwise, <clears throat> let's try to go into plow. Shoulder back, chest is open. Take a couple deep breaths and then bring your legs behind your back. <clears throat> Grab your toes and then bend your knees. And then maybe you want to hug behind your knees. And you're going to hold it for three to even ten minutes. And then to roll down super, super slowly using your core. <clears throat> maybe you want to lie on your back for a few seconds. Legs up and straight, flexing your feet. Shoulder or back, chest is open, and then bend your, knee, bend your knees. The last part is the balls, which is the most fun of the practice. We're going to start by putting the balls right on your sacrum plate. <clears throat> and each ball is going to be around the spine, so you're not touching the spine with the balls. One ball is on the right side of the spine and the other one on the left side of the spine. They're almost touching. And then you lie on it about a minute or two. And then you move the ball up to your lower back. And you're going to take the balls all the way up to your shoulders. And that's what we're going to do today. Namaste.